Hello everybody. Here we are going to see the use of timer zero in pitch 16 f 877 a microcontroller. See, as you can see from the figure, we have connected four LEDs to the pin number 33 to 36. Here we are going to light up the LEDs alternatingly for a period of one second using the timer zero in pitch 16 f 877. This is our pitch 16 f 877 a microcontroller connected using a 20 megahertz crystal. Four LEDs is, are connected through a resistor from pin number 33 to 36. The LEDs are lit up from left to right for a period of one second using timer zero. The initialization and the utilization of timer zero is being explained now. As usual, we will start with our coding. So, we have created a new project timer zero. We have given two source files. One is source.c and configuration.c. So in configuration.c we have defined our configuration bits and in source.c uh, we have defined our code. So first we have defined our crystal frequency as 20 megahertz. So we have included the header files. Uh, so here if you look uh, we have given the explanation. Timer 0 is an 8 bit register. Timer 0 increments from 0 to FF. So that is uh, 256 steps it is having so when it reaches the value ff this timer flag is set as 1 so again you know that this pick is having an instruction cycle of uh, instruction cycle for every 4 clock cycle so that is I am having the crystal as 20 megahertz so my clock period is 0.05 microsecond again my instruction cycle is 0.05 microsecond into 4 that is 0.2 microsecond. Now I have used the timer 0 prescaler as 1 is to 256. So that is for every 256 instruction cycle. So we have seen clock cycle over here, we have seen in instruction cycle over here. So when I am using prescaler 1 is to 256, for every 256 instruction cycle, timer 0 register increments by binary 1 so that is if it starts from 0 0 over here so after 256 clock pulse for 1 is to 256 prescaler after 256 clock pulse it increments by 1 to 0 1 so like that when when it reaches 255 when it reaches the binary value 255 that is all ones so this timer flag is set as 1 and it is again reset to 0 timer 0 is again reset to 0 and it again starts counting up to 255 so now if I look look over here so my counter is it is having 256 steps counter is having 256 steps again my prescaler is 1 is to 256 so that is for every 256 clocks, uh, every 256 instruction cycle, this counter is incremented by 1. This counter is having 256 steps. And for each instruction cycle in PIC microcontroller, when I am using 20 MHz crystal, it is 0.2 microseconds. So this is 0.2 microsecond. 0.2 microsecond. So when I multiply this 256 into 256 into 0.2 microsecond, I'll get a value of 13.0172 millisecond. So 13.0172 millisecond. This timer flag will be raised to 1. That is timer 0 flag is set high. So from here we can define the timer 0 frequency. So this is timer 0 frequency. So the timer 0 frequency is 1 by 13.0172 millisecond. That is for every one second delay, every one second delay, timer flag will be raised high 76 times. To be precise, it is 76.29 times. It will be high for one second. So every time this timer flag is raised, that uh, this timer flag is raised, you have to clear the timer flag. So we go to our coding. So here we have defined a uh, B this is all port B I have defined as output I have given the initial value as all zeros I have given a delay of 10 microsecond I have 
RB3 I have given the value as 1 that is pin number 36 pin number 36 I have correct I have made the LED to glow the output value is high so here is the option register 4 bits that is bit 3 bit 2 bit 1 bit 0 this is con controlling the prescaler so if you look at the explanation over here so this is bit 3 this is prescaler assignment this uh, timer 0 8 bit uh, register is having a prescaler as you know and this prescaler is also shared with the watchdog timer so for using the prescaler for timer 0 you have to give this value as 0 that is prescaler assignment PSA value is 0 now you look at this prescaler data rate select bits so here this what we are using in the code is 1 is to 256 so when you are giving these values that is bit this three values this I have given as all ones so for timer 0 this is 1 is to 256 that is for every 256 instruction cycle that is for every 256 instruction cycles the timer 0 8 bit register is incremented by so after completing this shift to RB0 when the value is 1 over here when you again execute a right shift this value is going to move to the carry carry bit so this if you look at over here if status bits dot carry equal to 1 then you have to set again RB3 equal to 1 so again pin number 36 will be lit high now we will build our code so now my <coughs> project has been built I will burn the hex file into the microcontroller I am using my picky2 software over here so picky2 first I will select the device I will select the device as pic 16 f 877 a then I will click on auto import hex here I will take the hex file of the source code that we have built and compiled in the MPLAB, MPLAB X IDE so now it is burning in the 16F 877A so the process is complete I'll click I'll click wait this is my circuit so uh, microcontroller 20 megahertz crystal 4 LEDs connected to pin number 33 to 36 using a 1k resistor for these 4 LEDs I have taken 1k resistor as common and uh, here for this pin number 1 uh, for providing the VPP voltage I have used a 1k resistor connected to the plus 5 volt and uh, this is my power supply I get uh, 12 volts from a transformer I take a bridge rectifier 7805 regulator and a capacitor so happy learning to you